Hare Krishna. Welcome to all devotees. Now we start today's Bhagavatam class. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Narayanam Namaskrutam Naram Chaiva Narotam. Devim Saraswati Vyasam Tatajayam Kudire. Nashta Praesho Bhadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya. Bhagavati Uttama Shloke Bhakti Bhavati Nishtiki. Hare Krishna Pranam. Today we continuing Srimad Bhagavatam Kanta First Chapter 6. Conversation between Narada and Vaisdeva. Try to understand uh, Shloka number 34 and 35. Uh, please uh, recite after me. Etat hi atura chittanam matras parsha ichaya muhu. Etat hi atura chittanam matras parsha ichaya muhu. Bhava sindhu plavadrushta hari charya anuvarnanam. Bhava sindhu plavadrushta hari charya anuvarnanam. Yam Adi Bihi Yoga Pate Kama Loba Hata Muhu Yam Adi Bihi Yoga Pate Kama Loba Hata Muhu Mukunda Sevaya Yatva Tata Atma Adha No Shammeti Mukunda Sevaya Yatva Tata Atma Adha No Shammeti Etati Atura Chittanam Eta di Atura Chittanam Matras Persha Ichayamu Matras Persha Ichayamu Bava Sindhu Plava Drushta Bava Sindhu Plava Drushta Richaria and Varnam Hari Charyanu Varnanam Yama Adi Bhi Yama Adi Bhi Yoga Hai Kama Lobha Hato Kama Lobha Hato Kama Lobha Hato Mataji, please use your the seva ya yadvat. Mukunda seva ya yadvat. Hare Krishna. Mataji, please use mobile for uh, range. Range is not there for uh, your tablet. Etad di atura chittana matras parsha ichaya muhu bava sindhu plava drashta hari charya anuvarnanam yam adi bhihi yoga panthe kama loba hata muhu ukand sevaya yadvat tatha atma dhaha na shamyati gayatri mataji e etad dha धातुर चित्ताना मात्रस परशेच्छयाम हु बवसिंधु प्लवोह दृष्टह हरिचर्यानु वर्णनम यमादी भी ही योग पथे ही कामलोभ हतो हतह मुहु मुकुंद सेवया यद्वत तथा आत्मा था न शम्यति श्रीकृष्ण Translation and purport by the Srila Prabhupada, Jagat Guru Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. It is personally experienced by me that those who are always full of chaos and anxieties due to desiring contact of the senses with their objects can cross the ocean of Nisans on a most suitable boat 
the constant chanting of the transcendental activities of the personality of Godhead. It is true that by practicing restraint of the senses by the yoga system, one can get relief from the disturbances of desire and lust. But this is not sufficient to give satisfaction to the soul. For this satisfaction is derived from devotional service to the personality of Godhead. Purpose by the Srila Prabhupada. Please read it. Srila Prabhupada. The symptom of living being is that he cannot remain silent even for some time. He must be doing something, thinking of something or talking about something. Generally, the materialistic men think and discuss about subjects which satisfy their senses. But as these things are exercised under the influence of the external and illusory energy, such sensual activities do not actually give them any satisfaction. On the contrary, they become full with cares and anxieties. This is called maya or what is satisfaction. Uh, sorry, this is called Maya or what is not. That which cannot give them satisfaction is accepted as an object for satisfaction. So Narad Muni, by his personal experience, says that satisfaction for such frustrated being, beings engaged in sense gratification is to chant always the activities of the Lord. The point is that the subject matter only should be changed. No one can check the thinking activities of the living being nor the feeling, willing, or working processes. But if one wants actual happiness, one must change the subject matter only. Instead of talking of the politics of a dying man, one might discuss the politics administered by the Lord himself. Instead of relishing activities of the cinema artists, one can turn his attention to that. By his causeless mercy, descends on the earth, and manifests activities almost on the line of the worldly men. But at the same time, extraordinarily, because he is almighty, he does so for the benefit of all conditioned souls so that they can turn their attention to transcendence. By doing so, the conditioned soul will gradually be promoted to the transcendental position and easily cross the ocean of nescience, the source of all miseries. This is stated from the personal experience by such an authority as Sri Narad Muni. We can have the same experience also if we begin to follow in the footsteps of the great sage, the dear most devotee of the Lord. Yoga aims at controlling the senses. By practice of the mystic processes of bodily exercise and sitting, thinking, feeling, willing, concentrating, meditating, and at last being merged into transcendence, one cannot control the senses. The senses are considered like venomous serpents and the yoga system is just to control them. On the other hand, Narada Muni recommends another method for controlling the senses in the transcendental loving service of Mukunda, the personality of Godhead. By his experience, he says that devotional service to the Lord is more effective and practical than the system of artificially controlling the senses. In the service of Lord Mukunda, the senses are transcendentally engaged. Thus, there is no chance of their being engaged. Want some engagement. To check them artificially is no check at all because as soon as there is some opportunity for enjoyment, the serpent-like senses will certainly take advantage of it. There are many such instances in history just like Vishwamitra Muni's falling a victim to the beauty of Menaka. But Thakur Haridas was allured at midnight by the well-dressed Maya and still he could not, she could not induce the great devotee into her trap. The whole idea is that without devotional service of the Lord, neither the yoga system nor dry philosophical speculation can ever become successful. Pure devotional service of the Lord without being tinged with fruitative works, mystic yoga or speculative philosophy is the foremost procedure to attain self-realization. Such pure devotional service is transcendental in nature and the systems of yoga and jnana are subordinate to such a process. When the transcendental devotional service is mixed with a subordinate process, it is no longer transcendental but is called mixed devotional service. Srila Vyasadev, the author of Srimad Bhagavatam, will gradually develop all these different systems of transcendental realization in the text. Hare Krishna. Om Gyan Timirandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Milita Maina Tasmai Sri Guru Vainama Sri Chaitanya Manobishtam Stapita Maina Bhutale 
स्वयं रूप कदा मह्यम दधाति स्वदाटिक वंदे हम श्री गुरो श्री तपद कमल श्री गुरोन वैष्णव श्री रूप सागर जात सगण रघुनाथ तम सजीव सहाद्वैत सवधूत परजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य दैव श्री राधा कृष्ण पाद सगण ललिता श्री विशाखाता नमो ओं विष्णु पदाय कृष्ण प्रेष्टा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सरस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात देश तारिणे वाचा कल्पतरुभे कृपा सिंधुभ एव पति पावणेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासादी गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण वी कंटिन्यूंग श्रीमद भागवतम कैंटो फर्स्ट चैप्टर सिक्स कन्वर्सेशन बिटवीन नारदा एंड व्यास देवा वी ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड श्लोका नंबर थर्टी फाइव एंड थर्टी सिक्स Prabhu ji will told uh, tell us in detail about this. What uh, describe in the shlokas? Hare Krishna. Hare. We know. So that is the instrument which Krishna had gives uh, Vina uh, is playing. We know, and he has given Vina to. narad muni so when he gave this veena it was something whose vibrations are charged with transcendental sound so whatever are the seven singing meters sa sa that is sadja ra or rashab ga gandhar म मध्यम प पंचम ध धैवत एंड नी निषद सो इवन दी सेवन मीटर्स दे आर ट्रांसेंडेंटल एंड स्पेसिफिकली मेड फॉर ट्रांसेंडेंटल सो नारद जी सेज दैट ही गॉट इट डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम कृष्णा एंड ही हैज बीन यूजिंग इट and using it continuously chanting about krishna and his glories so that is why you will see wherever narad muni ji is traveling he is always saying narayan 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 and narad ji explains what is the benefit of this consistent continuous fulfillment an engagement in remembering krishna he says that generally people they are always full of cares and anxieties why because of contact of senses with the objects so for all such people if they want to cross the ocean of nisans then the most suitable boat is chanting of the transcendental activities of krishna because he is the param bhagwan and not only that it is much better than the yoga system because by yoga system that is practicing restraint of the senses we can get relief from the disturbance of desire lust but it does not give satisfaction to the soul the satisfaction is derived from devotional service and that is why prabhupada ji explains that what is the swarup or jeevera swarup hai krishna 
nitera krishna das when krishna when chaitanya mahaprabhu is saying this why is he saying this because it is a symptom of any living being then it cannot remain silent it has to be continuously engaged in doing something thinking something talking about something so if not engaged in krishna service then they will be engaged in maya service and that is why materialistic people they think about topics discuss about subjects which will satisfy their senses but then that is under the influence of the illusory energy that is external energy of krishna and so such sensual activities do not give them any satisfaction in fact they become more anxious they are more full of cares oh what about my child what about my mother what about my father what about my that what about my this this is called maya that which is not illusion brahma so something which cannot give satisfaction is accepted as object for satisfaction and this is maya and because of this what happens is this frustration people are continuously engaged in sense gratification it's not fulfilling we don't get satisfaction we don't get fulfillment and so there is frustration and so narad muni ji says that satisfaction for such frustrated beings is to always chant the activities of the lord hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare living beings cannot stop thinking they cannot stop feeling willing working so what is required to be done is only change the subject matter if someone wants actual happiness the subject matter has to be changed instead of talking about material aspects we have to talk about krishna krishna's leela and about krishna's devotees instead of talking of politics we must discuss about how lord administered politics instead of relishing activities of the uh, heroes and heroines of the uh, motion pictures one can turn attention to the activities of the lord with his eternal associates the gopis the lakshmis so krishna has given us everything we just have to change the topics by his causeless mercy krishna he has descended to the earth and manifested activities which are extraordinary why extraordinary because he is almighty and he has done this for the benefit of all conditioned souls so that they can turn attention to this transcendental leelas and when anyone starts doing this he will be gradually improving in his sadhana and be promoted to the transcendental position and once he has reached the position he can easily cross the bhava sagar the ocean of nisans which actually is the source of miseries in fact we can have the same experience as narad muni if you follow the footsteps of the great sage who was the dearmost devotee of the lord and this is proven repeated narad muni ji says that just by doing yoga it cannot be achieved because yoga aims at controlling senses so mystic processes bodily exercises sitting thinking feeling willing concentrating meditating and then maybe at some day some point of time merging into transcendence so there one can control the senses but then the senses are like snake venomous serpent and hare krishna 
the yoga system is devised to control them. But then that is not always possible because one day or the other there is going to be a fall down. This, this is not the ideal method because this is restrictions. So there are so many examples. Those who have practiced this and have fallen down. Prabhupada gives the example of Vishwamitra Muni. So what Narad Muni does is he recommends another method for controlling the senses. And that is transcendental loving service of Lord. With his own experience he says that devotional service to the Lord is more effective, practical than artificially controlling the senses. Because when we are serving Krishna, the senses are transcendentally engaged. It can be only cleaning of the plates of Lord or cleaning of the paraphernalia, washing of the clothes of the Lord, grooming the Lord's DT area or backup area. You utilize the senses and they are then transcendentally engaged. So then they won't be easily engaged in sense satisfaction. Because the senses want some engagement to check them artificially is useless. Because as soon as there is an opportunity, the serpent-like senses will suddenly take advantage of it. But with devotional service, this never happens. So the yoga system, philosophical speculations, they are never fully successful. Pure devotional service without any tinge of fruity work is the foremost procedure to attain self-realization. And this is transcendental. So whatever we talk about yoga, jnana, they are subordinate to bhakti. When bhakti is mixed with a subordinate process, it is not transcendental then it is a mixed devotional service. So it will have mixed results. If you want ultimate results, then you have to take it to the bhakti one. That is pure devotional service. Anya Abhilashita Shunyam is what bhakti has to do. That you do not desire for anything. So Prabhupada gives a lot of examples of benefits of bhakti. He says that as soon as one takes to this path of devotional service, one will immediately become free. He will come to an auspicious life, free from anxieties. And he will be blessed with transcendental existence. So if you are getting transcendental existence, then why will we require liberation? So the value of Liberation is minimized. No mukti, no mukti. Direct entry to Golok Vrindavan. And that is why we have seen in Nectar of Devotion, Bhakti Rasamrit Sindhu, the process of devotional service. And we have to follow it because it gradually elevates us from material condition of life to the spiritual status. Where we become purified of all designation. Sarva padhi vinar muktena. That is what is important. Should not be attached to any kind of designations. So the moment we practice bhakti as mentioned in NOD. This becomes the actual. So Prabhupada says. That the senses can become uncontaminated when they are constantly in touch with Bhakti Rasa. See, material world we know that there is going to be always contamination of the three gunas. So you have got Rajogun, Tamogun, Satogun. Even Satogun is a contamination. What is required is Shuddha Satogun. Beyond Satogun. And that is something which is achieved with Bhakti Rasa. So as soon as we engage all our senses into Bhakti Ras, then they will always be uncontaminated. They will be Amala. And when the purified senses 
are additionally employed again into the service of the Lord, the living being actually becomes situated in Bhakti Rasa life. Because any action performed for the satisfaction of Krishna in such transcendental Bhakti Rasa stage is relished perpetually. And we actually start getting satisfaction. We actually start getting feeling happiness. So the question comes, how? And the answer is, in the beginning, one is trained according to the principles of regulations under the guidance of an Acharya, a spiritual master. So you follow the instructions of the Acharya. So when he says up, get up, we get up. When he says get down, we get down. When he says stand up, we stand up. When he says sit, we sit. So whatever is the Acharya ordering, when we start following it, our purification starts. And then one day, we are slowly elevated. Then the devotional service becomes automatic and spontaneous eagerness to serve Krishna arises. Automatically from inside. Oh, I have to serve. What a new temple is coming. Let me go there and start serving. See, there are 12 rasas. If you remember, we have seen this in our series on NODs. You can go through the stored YouTube lectures on that on our Krishna Forest channel. So out of those 12 rasas, by renovating our relationship with Krishna in five primary rasas, we can live eternally in full knowledge and bliss. And that is what is important. That we get out of this Dukkhalayama Shashwati. So that eternity is achieved. We can do it through any of the five rasas. Because for every living being, it is bound to love someone. Whether it is a tiger, a lion, a coronavirus, a human being, anyone always wants to love someone. The children, the parents, anyone. But then, when it is on this material platform, the loving propensity is not satisfied. And unfortunately, what modern education is doing is, it is teaching people to love society, to love state, to love nation, to love self. Rupaji says, even if you love all human beings, the loving propensity remains imperfectly fulfilled. Because we don't know who is the supreme beloved. Our love can be fully satisfied only when it is reposed in Krishna. And that reposition of our love and our service unto Krishna is what is Bhakti. And Narad Muniji is telling us all these things here. That by using his Veena, by going around everywhere, he experienced all these aspects. He became free from all bondages. He was always happy, blissful, and he achieved eternity. And if you follow his footsteps, even we'll be achieving the same thing. And that is the objective of our life. Achieving Krishna Prem. Hare Krishna.